Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your iPhone or iPod is not showing up and registering in your computer area of your Windows device. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up Device Manager. So you want to head over to the Start button and you want to left click on it one time. And now you want to type in Device Manager. And the best match that comes up should say Device Manager right above Control Panel. So you want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now you want to look for something in Device Manager that's going to say Portable Devices. And once you find that, you want to left click on the little arrow next to it. So again, you want to look for something that says Portable Devices. And once you've found that, you want to right click on the entry underneath the entry underneath should say Apple iPod or Apple iPhone. I'm just giving an example here because I unfortunately do not have that in my device manager because I do not have any Apple software installed on here. But if you did, there would be something that says portable devices and then you would expand that view and then underneath it would say Apple iPod or Apple iPhone like I said. And then you would right click on that and then left click on update driver software. And then you would select Browse My Computer for Driver Software, locate and install Driver Software manually, and it'll ask you to search for Driver Software in this location. And then you want to select Let Me Pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. So you want to left click on that. There should be something that says MTP USB Device. You want to select Next once you found that. Again, you shouldn't have to search anything. It should say it right underneath model. It should say MTP USB device or something along those lines. And then once you've done that, you want to select this next button right here. This will be installing and updating the driver software. And then hopefully at this point, it should say that Windows has successfully updated your driver software. And I'd recommend you close out of these windows and autoplay should open up and your iPod or iPhone should be connected to your Windows device at this time. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.